Welcome to Glass Pieces Week. So this week is really fun because you are manipulating the view that you're giving to the viewer. So I'm going to be showing you a lot of different examples and your job is either to recreate something you see or make something you see on here even better. And as always, you have Pinterest to use as inspiration, but this week you are required to use some kind of glass piece in your artwork. Now I expand that view of glass piece a little bit. So it's really anything that has a clear reflective view, but you can use traditional mirrors. You can use pieces of mirrors you don't have to necessarily use the whole thing. So this week will challenge you to look at the world in a different way using mirrors. And you can use as much or as little Photoshopping as you'd like. So I put a bunch of different pieces of inspiration on here for you. So this one here uses round mirrors. And this artist did a whole series of them. So if you happen to like this one, you could do this uh, for your series. So just very simple use of mirrors. If you notice in all of these pictures, the photographer is not in them. So when you are taking these pictures, make sure that you don't see yourself in them. So it's going to require you to angle your body in a certain way. You don't necessarily have to use models. You can use props like the one on the right hand side with just flowers. You can use food with mirrors. Um, so I try to provide you a bunch of different types of examples here to just inspire you. If for some reason you're wondering where would be a cheap mirror you can buy, you could go to the dollar store, you could go to the thrift store, and find all kinds of mirrors. But most of you have mirrors in your house or maybe you can go to the neighbor or a friend and find them. This one here is really interesting in that they took a mirror and put it in um, a field. This one here took theirs out in the woods. You would need to take two different images usually for these kind of images if you wanted it to show through. So the first image is of the landscape. You as the photographer aren't moving whatsoever. Um, I would suggest maybe using a tripod. And then the second picture is of your model sitting there with their mirror. And all you'd have to do in Photoshop is erase what was inside the mirror. So mirrors can also kind of distort. Um, I will allow you to do these kind of things, even though they're not your traditional mirrors, but they do give you reflections. And then mirrors aren't perfect. So if you have a mirror that's cracked or broken, I would use it to your advantage. So for example, the image on the right has a really good distortion of that face. And even if you uh, look closely, you can see that they put two different images in the photo. So one picture is uh, normal where he's facing to the right. And then you take the same picture where he's facing in the opposite direction, a little bit further away, and you Photoshop those two together. Now, if you wanted to do something a little more simplistic like this, um, you do need to have something interesting in that reflection, as well as what the area it's sitting on. So I'm not looking for plain grass. I'm looking for a little bit more creativity. I'm also looking for what's being reflected a little bit um, more creative as well. If you look at the image on the right, what makes that really interesting to look at is that the image of the woman is distorted. You can um, spray water on it, you can find an old mirror to get that distortion. Here's another way of kind of expanding that idea. And you can also do this as a series. Here's some more examples.
And you don't have to use a model, but here's a lot of images with models. Here's another example of a broken mirror used. They make really interesting portraits. Now be careful if you are using a broken mirror, they are sharp, so be very, very careful. And that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me.